Okay, chapter 19. Free energy and thermodynamics. Here's a quote in German from Rudolf Clausius. Um, I won't embarrass myself with my one year of college German. Uh, the energy of the world is constant. The entropy of the world tends toward a maximum. Um, so I'm going to apologize for the incorrect chapter numbers here. Um, this is chapter 19. So nature's heat tax, you can't win. Uh, energy tra transactions are a lot like gambling. In the long run, you're not going to come out ahead. Um, so remember, we talked about the first law of thermodynamics in Chem 1A, and that's the idea that energy is conserved in chemical processes. Sometimes that's expressed as there's no free lunch. Um, so you burn gasoline to run a car, right? Only, um, only about 20% of the energy from that combustion goes into actually moving the car. And the rest of it just gets dissipated as heat into the surroundings. That sounds really inefficient. It is really inefficient. But the thing is, nothing can be 100% efficient. It feels like we should be able to make it at least a little more efficient. Well, we can make it better, yeah. So the energy from the reaction, some of the energy goes into moving the car, and some of it goes into heat. Um, so you can't win. You can't create energy that wasn't there to begin with. And heat here, you can't. Um, you just can't. Um, so the heat here is like a tax, right? Every energy transaction gets taxed by the universe. And you lose heat energy. So every time you charge a battery and then use it and recharge it and use it and recharge it, every time you go back and forth, you lose a little energy to heat in the environment. That's not what's causing global warming. Okay, we'll come to the second law of thermodynamics soon. So you can't win and you can't even break even. Um, so, of course, you know, I jumped the gun, talk about the battery. So, rechargeable batteries. So, maybe the battery does 100 kilojoules of work. When you go to recharge it, it's going to take more than 100 kilojoules to recharge it. Energy isn't destroyed in discharging and recharging the battery, but some of it is lost to the surroundings as heat. So, nature imposes a heat tax. Um, then there's also more energy that gets lost. All real world processes are less than 100% efficient. But the fewer transactions you have, the more efficient the energy use will be. And that's why if you think about like heating your home, if you are burning natural gas, to heat your home, that's one transaction, right? If a power plant is burning coal or something to make electricity, and then you bring the electricity over to your house and you use that to make heat, now you've got two transactions. You get taxed on each of them. So the fewer the transactions, the less is lost. So you can't win, you can't break even. I think I've done these slides too many times. This is what I just said. <laughs> Gosh. I didn't even look at these. Um, yeah, so burning, here you've got the one. And um, heating with electricity is actually a little bit more complicated than I mentioned earlier. So you burn a fossil fuel uh, to make steam, to generate electricity. Then you have to transmit the electricity. And then you have to take that energy and um, energize the heater. And then you get the heat out every step you lose some. <laughs>